everyone. Uh, sorry, it has been a while, a little bit, uh, recently a little bit busy with work. <clears throat> so welcome to Bob's Training Legal Solution. Uh, if you want the best mock interview experience in North America, feel free to check us out at bowlstraining.org. Um, and yes, this is our WeChat group. Uh, we constantly publish, uh, publish some very high quality uh, articles related to interview. Feel free to subscribe to them. Um, okay, I guess that's all I need to say. Um, so let's just jump right back for a, a easy problem called remove nth node from end of list. So essentially giving you a linked list, a singly linked list, remove the nth node uh, from the end of the list that returns head. So uh, I mean, <clears throat> now we have to start from, uh, you know, index start from one instead of zero. So this is something you want to, you might want to double check with your interviewer. Like if n equals to two, if you see here is actually, I mean, five is the first node and a four is the second node instead of a five is a zero node. Uh, so after we move the the second node from end of the list, this is one, two, three, five. Um, just, I mean, normally what we do is we'll uh, basically one idea is we we scan through this list and then we calculate the size of the, this list. In this case, it's five. And then you want me to delete the the second node from the end of the list. So what I will do is I will just use five minus two equals to three. So that means if one, two, three, one here, so I need to delete the next node, so I'll just, uh, you know, directly link three and a five. Uh, however, it asks you, to, hey, given n will always be valid. Well, n will always be valid means you will never delete a node that is larger than the size of the list. However, it could be, uh, in this case, equal to the size of the list. You have to consider that, for example, if one, two, three, uh, five, so if n equals to five, that means you just need to return two, three, four, five. I'll try to do this in one pass. As I said, my previous method is doing it in um, in uh, <coughs> two paths. So if, if you do it in one pass, what it will show you in your mind? Yeah, two pointers, right? So if you have two pointers, one pointer is two steps ahead. For example, one, uh, start from here, one, uh, one, two. So basically start from the head and then move two steps ahead. So now I'm at a three. Because remember, when you delete a node, you have to uh, know the previous one so that you can you know just do the pointer relink so now basically when these two nodes keeps moving so when you are when this guy points to five and is next equals to now that's where you know you have to delete the node uh you know link three to five okay so let's code it up it's uh, not a uh, hard question and hopefully i still remember those stuff Okay, uh, so some housekeeping, I guess. Um, it says no n will never be invalid, right? So if head equals to now, I guess, well, just uh, you can head um, or throw, hmm, whatever. <clears throat> okay, so now we have, so let's just say point to a head, and then we have this, this node fast point it to the head and hmm. Hmm. so assuming n is always valid so you have to just move here from uh, like n steps, um, we can always have a example right here, right? So now if n equals to 2, so we'll have fast point to starting here, 1, 2, point to 3, right? And then but well, fast has a chance to be now in this case, right? Because when whenever you move to, um, so for example, if it's uh, n equals to five in this case, so start from here, one, two, three, four, five. So you're already you're already at the end of the list. That means you have to delete the delete the head. So there's one minor case I need to kind of take care of is if fast already equals to now. So that means. 
what will happen? So if fast equals null, that means you have to you want to delete the first uh first node. That's the only way it will happen, right? So we check head is not equal to null, so we can just directly return head on next. Or else what we need to do is um well fast dot next not equal to null. So we know fast already is not equal to null. And uh, if fast dot next equals to null means you have to just move it one step. So all we need to do is p equal to p dot next and uh, fast equals to fast dot next. So when when whatever when when it actually happens, so this dot next equals to null, that means where you have to really delete the node. Uh, you can just say p dot next equals to p dot next next, and then it will not be null because we fast already help us check. And now we need to return head. Um, kind of looks good to me. <coughs> okay, doesn't matter. Submit and run. Okay, uh, it's not a hard problem in any case, but uh, it's interesting. Uh, okay, again, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or uh, just uh, sh sh shoot us an email at uh, positioning or positioning at outlook.com. Um, we're here to help you. Thanks.